I am interested in how we can combine usable security with empirical analysis. So what does that mean exactly? Usable security is a subfield of computer science, and there have been a variety of studies done in that area. And then there's also internet-wide measurements. But there hasn't been a lot of work combining the two. And a lot of the work that's been done in usable security has actually been done in like lab studies or via surveys. But the problem with lab studies is that they aren't representative of what a user might actually do if they're sitting at home on their computer checking their email, for example and they don't necessarily provide the entire ecosystem or all the different behaviors that you could see from users. Think about how much time you spend on your computer or on your phone. The internet has made it so easy for us to do online banking, uh, read the daily news, uh, pay our bills, for example. We rely on the internet for so many things. And it's not just you know one group of people. It's accessible to a wide variety of people from all around the world. Which also means that the security mechanisms that are protecting these users are becoming more and more important. And so I'm interested in how we can bridge internet-wide measurements with usable security, because when you look at the entire ecosystem, when you look at the entire environment, you see a much more holistic picture. You're seeing all the different use cases and all the weird edge cases. And then when we know what those cases or what these weird behaviors are, we can try and build our systems to better protect those user behaviors. And so these two areas haven't really been combined too much before. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out a way through different projects how we can combine these two areas. And so one mechanism that I'm particularly interested in is HTTPS. HTTPS is a great security mechanism. Every site should be on HTTPS, but it's not. And it's because when people created HTTPS and the mechanisms for turning it on, they weren't thinking about the end user. So some of the work that I do right now is looking at HTTPS adoption. How can we help site owners, specifically small site owners, transition their site over to HTTPS? And so I've been running a lot of internet measurements to try and figure out ways that we can help small site owners transition over to HTTPS easily. If I'm successful or if these projects are successful, I think what that translates to is security mechanisms that protect users better and more often. One of the things that I love about our department is that people want you to do research that you think is interesting. Before I even accepted my offer, people were asking me what I wanted to do. They were interested in what my interests were and how we could find mutually um, interesting projects. And that is really unique because people, people want you to do what you like. Another great thing about UCSD CSE is that they are encouraging of your interests and also new opportunities. So the work that I've been doing around HTTPS actually started off as an internship with the Google Chrome security team. It's a, a project that we are trying to wrap up and actually submit to a conference, but I'm hoping that uh, it will be helpful to users out there in helping transition them to HTTPS.